So we have a sign for the steakhouse right here. Now guys, how often do you get to eat in a building that's shaped like a sombrero? How cool is that? I can't wait to go in and check it out, get some good food. Cause I'm getting hungry. What about you, Shelby? <laughs> Very much so. So let's go in here and check this place out. With only three locations in North Carolina and South Carolina, I'd wager this is the neatest building they have in their lineup. First in the door here, we have a menu to look at. We were greeted by a friendly waitstaff and seated in a timely manner to a cozy candlelit table. The Peddler's menu has a lot of great options for anyone in your party. It's going to be tough to decide what to get. They have a very fresh salad bar with lots of items to choose from. <laughs> All right, Shelby, what did you get? I had a salad with some cucumbers, onions, tomatoes, cheese, Parmesan cheese, and some bacon bits. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So over here I got Daryl's on mine with green peppers and ham and all kinds of things. And loaded down with ranch dressing. You gotta have ranch dressing. And over here we have some what appears to be pumpernickel bread. That's what I think it is. We're getting ready to dig into that with some butter. I got the Peddler's Grilled Shrimp on a bed of rice pilaf with a baked potato. And Shelby got steak kebabs on a bed of rice pilaf with a baked potato also. With fork in hand, it's time to dig in. Our total was $77.92, which included a $10 gratuity. This was a more expensive restaurant than what we typically choose, but the food was delicious. We would definitely recommend The Peddler if you're looking for a nice date night spot or somewhere to celebrate. If you liked this review, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. And until next adventure, see, see ya! ya!